Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the best way to downgrade from Lion to Snow Leopard. Now, while Mac OS X Lion is a great operating system, some people may not like some of the new features, or perhaps there's programs that you use on a regular basis that aren't yet supported by a Lion. And in this case, it might make sense for you to downgrade back to Snow Leopard. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first and best way to downgrade to Snow Leopard is if you have a time machine or any type of backup of your entire system. And it's very easy to downgrade if you have this. And the backup does have to be of when you are on Snow Leopard. So to do this, you're going to restart your computer and when you hear the Apple chime, you're going to hold down the option key and this is going to put you into the recovery disk that's built into Mac OS X. From here you're going to see a list of your disks and you're going to want to select Recovery HD and hit enter. From here you can see that the first option is Restore from a Time Machine Backup and assuming that you have your backup connected to your computer, from here you can just select that option and it will guide you right through to reinstalling from a Time Machine Backup. Now if you have a backup from another disk, if you used a different application to backup, assuming it has your entire hard drive clone, you can select Disk Utility and then hit the Continue button to go into Disk Utility and work from there. Then from the sidebar in Disk Utility, you're going to want to select your hard drive, in this case Macintosh HD. Then you'll see these tabs here and you're going to want to click on Restore. And from here it gives you the option to select a source image to restore your disk with. So you drag in any disk that you have on the sidebar right here into this little destination field. This is just an example. This wouldn't actually work. And then from there you'd click the restore button. So what you do is you take your backup disk and drag it into that field to restore from there. If you don't have a Snow Leopard backup of your disk, you're going to need a retail copy of Mac OS X Snow Leopard to restore your disk with. Now these do cost $30, but you can still buy them. So at this point you're going to want to pop in your Snow Leopard disk and restart your computer while holding down the C key. Now what this is going to do is it's going to force your computer to boot up from the Snow Leopard installation DVD. And you're going to see this normal looking startup uh, sequence here, but what's going to happen is it's going to boot into the Snow Leopard installer from here. So from here you're going to have to select use English as the main language. Then from there you're going to have to go to the utilities menu and click on disk utility. Then from there on the sidebar you're going to click on your hard drive and this time not Macintosh HD uh, but in this case the 250 gigabyte internal hard drive. You don't want to click on Macintosh HD. And then over here you're going to click on the erase tab. And then you're going to have to select Mac OS extended journal from the drop down. And then you can name it if you want, I'm just going to leave it as untitled, then click erase. So before you do this, you're going to want to make sure that you have your disk backed up. Word of warning though is if you do this and install Snow Leopard, then restore from a time machine backup that you did before you did this, you'll be restoring to Lion again. So it's best to just back up the files that you're going to need. So then I'm going to click erase. And once this is finished formatting, you can go and you can quit disk utility and then from here install Mac OS X just like you normally would. So you can see here my disk is untitled and here it is and I'm just going to click install. So here you go it's going to take about 30 minutes and then Mac OS X Snow Leopard will be restored and it should be just like before you upgrade it to Lion assuming you copy over the files you backed up afterwards. So that's how you can downgrade Mac OS X Lion to Mac OS X Snow Leopard. And like always if you have any things that you'd like to see me do a how-to on Make sure to send me an email and I'll see what I can do. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.